Hello, and welcome to this Hawkward System screencast. My name is Mina Basalius, and today I'll be walking you through troubleshooting graphics glitches in SolidWorks. So typical glitches that you may see would be chopping and lagging while either panning, zooming, or rotating your model. Other issues that you might see is if your model is chopped in half and part of it is floating off into space. Either way, there's a quick way to troubleshoot this. So if I click on my Windows Start button, go to All Programs, choose the SolidWorks version that you're using, so in my case it's 2014, SolidWorks Tools, and then SolidWorks RX, I get this tool over here. In my Home tab, what I can do is scroll down and click on this link that says Launch SolidWorks in Software OpenGL Mode. And what this mode does is it bypasses your graphics card and allow you to run SolidWorks solely on the CPU. If this mode clears your problem, then you know that you're looking at a graphics issue. Most graphics issues can be corrected by updating the driver. So if I go over to my diagnostic tab, I'll get some information on my system. So the diagnostic results for me indicate that my graphics card is supported and the driver is up to date. But that not, might be the case for you. If you look over here, it'll tell you your system model. So I know mine's a Dell Precision M4700 with an NVIDIA Quadro uh, K1000M card. And I also get this link. And if I click on it, it'll take me to SolidWorks' site where I can download the drivers. So if I just populate that information here, put in my Dell Precision M4700 with a Quadro K1000, and I'm running 20 SolidWorks 2014 using Windows 7 64 bits. If I click on Show Results, I get the option to download this driver. When I click on the link, I get to save the driver anywhere. So I can put it on my desktop, but I already have a version of it installed. So what I'm going to do is hit Cancel and just launch it off my desktop. You'll go ahead and hit run, and then extract the file, hit OK. While it's extracting, I'm just going to let it do its thing, and I'll be back shortly. Alright, so it's finished extracting, and after that it launches the installer. So I'm just going to go ahead and agree on this. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the custom install option hit next and I'm going to choose the option to perform a clean install and that, what that will do is it'll uninstall the old drivers and then reinstall the new ones so it's going to go through a series of reboots before it gets finishes um, doing this once it's done I'm going to cancel this because these are the drivers I already have once it's done there'll be some options that you may want to change so if you open up the NVIDIA control panel so again this is only because I have an NVIDIA card. If you have a different manufacturer, these options will be a little bit different for you. But here, there's an option to set the physics configuration. And basically what this does is it automatically selects between your CPU and your GPU. So instead of using my good card, which is supported for SOLIDWORKS, it'll use the cheap one at some times. And it's set to auto-select between the two. So if I set this to my Quadro card and hit Apply, I'll know that every time I launch SOLIDWORKS, now I'll get it to use my NVIDIA card, uh, which is the more powerful one. So it uses a little bit more battery power, but I get much better performance out of it. Well, thank you for watching this Hawkroot System screencast. I uh, hope this has been informative.